Hi, hello my Eurovision friends and welcome to a new video. So it's Teyadora for Serbia. And it's time for me to discover a bit more of this song. I've only listened to it once and didn't get my attention at first listen. So it's time for me to know Teyadora better and this song Ramonda better. But before that, let me just talk a bit about the national selection, the Pesmaza Evrovisiju, because I've seen all the other performances. And first of all, I have to say, Filari, Philip Balos, and Kat Doza deserve to be in the final. This was really unfair. <laughs> Then Christina surprised me with a very beautiful staging, not the song. Bojana and David, this no, 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 was nice too, was very catchy. And I really loved all the other contestants in the top five. Zeina, Constracta, Thorja and Bresbika. All these girls were amazing. I think I'm a huge fan of the four of them at this point. I mean, Thorja was so impressive. I thought she would be the winner. And Constracta again with a masterpiece and a great message. Um, the performance was quite in line with her previous one, but still a masterpiece. And so I see Teyadora won for the juries, but she was second for the public. The televoting was for Bresbica, but eventually Teyadora won. She is Teodora Pavlovska, born in 1992, a Serbian singer-songwriter who grew up in Belgrade. And for what I've seen, she is quite famous in there, right? She has been active in the music industry since 2019. But before that, attended Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts, located in the United States. <laughs> she has um, written and composed many songs for other artists. And she also has many singles and albums to her name that have helped her get to where she is today. And of course, she is part of the songwriting team of this winner song, Ramonda, which is a song with poetic lyrics that convey a sense of longing, solitude and searching for guidance. I saw an interview of her explaining a bit this meaning of Ramonda. She says that it's a symbol of hope, that it's a very strong symbol for Serbians. It's like a rebirth from the ashes, even when the days are dark and even if you feel like there's nothing, that if you still have hope and trust, you can find a way out. And the way it also connects with Serbia is that Ramonda is referring to the end of the First World War on 11th of November, a symbol for that resurrection after the war. They call it a uh, Serbian phoenix, and apparently it's also a very rare flower which is protected. I've checked the lyrics and in fact she repeats a lot Lila Ramonda, which is this flower, I think it's this color like purple in this flower and she uses this, the symbol of this flower in search for guidance. 
So all these meaning and references are quite interesting. Now it's finally time for me to see the performance. Oh, clouds. The sea. Beautiful music. Oh. <laughs> This felt quite immersive, this first image. And beautiful, soft music piano to start. We have a very dark image for now, but it's understandable. It talks about dark times. She's also on the floor. She's feeling it. Oh, beautiful. This part has been very beautiful. Oh, beautiful image. Lila Ramonda. This is really dark. All the performance is very dark, in fact, with all the smoke, but there's a very few lightning. And, and yet she is standing, uh, but I don't have this rising from the ashes feeling yet. And indeed it's, it is growing, but it feels like very slowly and still soft, right? Mm. Oh, this image is very beautiful. Like she's uh, asking, like it feels like she's praying, asking Lila Ramonda for help. And the image with the lightning, with these purple flowers, supposed of purple lights, uh, it's really beautiful, this image. This performance has some beautiful images, some beautiful touches. Oh, this feels epic. This rhythm. <laughs> but... And she's singing really powerful and expressive, but I'm a bit confused with the visuals in this part, I have to say, because it feels more like a storm, like a fight, than a rebirth from the ashes, but... Here, oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful ending with the Lila Ramanda. Now, yes, finally we had the flower in the background and we had this powerful storm just before the a soft, beautiful ending. But still, I see this symbol of the flower, the guidance, but I don't see this effect of renaissance i don't feel it that much i feel more like an inner struggle with all these visuals in the performance and so okay so i understand why this song has touched so many serbians i can understand why they feel connected with this song and of course, now that I understand the lyrics, the song meaning, I can connect more to, I think this is a very emotional performance. 
and all the presentation was quite dark just it just had this some beautiful images beautiful touches in it but overall very dark very centered in her which i think is good of course and it had something like mesmerizing maybe musically the melody is not getting my attention but i don't find it boring either i mean it's like hard to explain but the three minutes that takes the song doesn't feel long in fact it feels shorter than it is so i'm kind of mesmerized although i don't feel it's a song i would like to play again it's quite difficult to explain maybe it will grow on me at this moment it's like not a song that i want to play again but when i see it and having all this knowledge about this Ramonda, all the symbolism, I can appreciate it, we can say it that way, but it's not a favorite of mine for now. And I'm not saying it's a bad song at all. She has a beautiful voice and she's expressive, but I don't know, it's like I'm missing something, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm more touched by Thorja or Constructa, but I can understand why the other one. Now it's your turn. Tell me in the comments what do you think about this song? Are you happy with the Serbian winner? Thank you so much for being here. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.